And this is like sort of a general rule, but it also is a barometer for you. Roughly a third of your movie should be above the line. That's the ideal you're shooting for. A third of the budget. And that makes it, therefore, combining both below the line and post-production and other, it should be two-thirds. Now let's look at this budget. And you can make a pencil note. Or you can write on it, the budget, where we came out. Okay, Take a look at uh, 3635000 right, which is the total above the line. Turns out to be 43% of the budget. So that tells you that this is not the ideal world. You're top heavy. It's OK. But just know that you're going to have less money to actually make the movie. OK, now we've finished above the line. So now we, we do the, that was the easy part. Now we do the hard part, which is below the line. It's not really hard, but it's just simply much more detailed because there's many more bodies to, to keep track of. Uh, next page, page 14, 2003 account, first AD. See, it says LA. Even though he's Australia, his deal is from Los Angeles. That's where his flight originates. OK, so then you see the key second. She gets two weeks of prep, shoot, one day of wrap, second second. Second second is an American term. They, in Canada, they call it a third AD. Script supervisor, 28 an hour, 12 hour day for prep. See that? So prep is 12 hours. They don't work more than that without getting permission from you, since you're not with them all the time. We're budgeting 14 hours for a shoot. Does everybody see that? And then holiday is an eight hour day holiday, which is another thing you make clear. And in your contract that you're going to give them, your deal memo, it says that. Otherwise, they're going to charge you for 12 hours. So it's spelled, it's spelled all out. All of it is spelled out. Then you've got extras in 2100. Under extras, first is stand-ins. Then there are union extras. And then page 18, there are non-union extras. And on page 20, 2104, it's silent bits. 2200 is the production designer. Do you see that seven weeks at 3000 a week? That's US dollars. You, you can tell because there's no 68 cents conversion. He needed, he needed permits. Under him is the art director. Under that is the assistant art director. And then the set designer draftsman. What then does the art director do? He basically draws, and he does everything the production designer can't get to. 2500 is set operations, and that's where the grips live. So you see the first company grip, key grip at $27 an hour. Prep, shoot, and wrap. Second grip, which is the best boy. Then you've got three other grips. And then you have a dolly grip on top of page 26. Then 6800 is general expenses. That's where you put legal. Accounting in post production, computers, etc., etc. And that comes to $8,499.99.